is Enlisted out of date or antiquated? Now, recently I've been playing Enlisted quite a bit. It's a fun take on an arcade simulation somewhere between Battlefield and Rising Storm. But for a World War II shooter, the game feels much too alike to its cousin, the April Fools, that being Cuisine Royale. I ask this question mainly due to how interesting the gameplay can be. On one hand, it's it's you know a strength, and the other, it can be its one very downfall. The game looks fantastic. It performs like no other. The lighting, the sounds are all there. The gunplay is okay, but also non-existent at the same time. And for a really gra good graphic engine, that being Dagor 6, it is a really fantastic to see that Cuisine Royale has led to, I guess, a bit of a testing phase for at least the open beta. And while Darkflow Software is the developer of this game, Garzin essentially is the publisher, so you do see a lot of reused assets. And I will say, it does feel a little antiquated in some of the way that the infantry move, the way that they feel, some of, some of the gunplay at least, and also it feels a lot like a War Thunder grind, at least if you don't buy a Founders of Pack. Um, <laughs> it, it, and so it's just another grind fest for people who play a lot of time just to unlock certain things. The menus are a bit clunky, uh, the UI is a bit all over the place, but it's still a fun experience and I highly recommend you go check it out because it, it is one of those games you need to at least experience once in order to have an objective opinion about it. Unfortunately, I think a lot of players are going to get caught up in the grinding and that they just need to unlock the better stuff and then the game will be enjoyable or open their wallets, something along those lines. That's essentially what free-to-play games tend to be, and I'm not entirely sure if this game will even become free-to-play, but it's a concern nonetheless. On top of that, there is also loot boxes, not ones that you can necessarily pay for, but you earn equipment through these loot boxes, and the only way you can get those is by playing a lot of battles. And <laughs> it is an utter grind if you want to get certain component trees, and let alone upgrade half your squad, or if you want to get a better infantry set. And unfortunately, this loot box system is just frustrating. It makes getting decent weapons down to an RNG, and well, we know how that does, you know, to people. But overall, it's a good game. It needs some work and certainly going to be interesting. I do remember when they did the campaign for $50,000 community funded to make this game. And I mean, that was a big ass from the War Thunder community per se. But make no mistake, this is not a game to replace War Thunder. In fact, for those of you who are looking for infantry in War Thunder, well, this is as close as you're going to get. Despite there being similar damage models and similar uh, visual models, the game functions entirely different. Having played the game for quite a while and quite a number of hours, and I can tell you this, the game feels a bit old, a bit outdated. Looks fancy, sounds fancy, doesn't necessarily play too well. And when you upgrade your squads and obviously upgrade all of your equipment, it's just an outdated system for doing things. And I mean, just look at this menu at the end here. And I get the developers are constantly updating the game. However, it needs some serious improvement. And I'm sure it will get that over time. I'm following this one very closely, as you know I did a video several months ago on the game, and I still enjoy it to a degree, but it is a little tiring.